OO, Portia Williams has been exposed by none other than Simon Gobadia for having had an affair with rapper Future. The soon-to-be ex-spouses are already through court sessions, and apparently Simon Gobadia, under oath, wants Portia Williams to answer a lot of interesting questions about their marriage and divorce, but nothing is more interesting than the fact that he wants her to answer questions about other men that she was engaged with when they were still married. Specifically, Simon wants her to explain the nature of her relationship with a man named Kelvin, her ex Dennis McKinney, and another man named Jonathan. His request also asked her to explain the nature of her relationship with Nevadius de Moncash, professionally known as Future. Now, apart from the fact that Future has eight children by eight different baby mamas, and one would say that the habit might have somehow extended to Portia Williams, otherwise there's no indication, at least in the public eye, that shows that Portia Williams has had any sort of interaction with Future, but again, a lot of things happen behind the closed doors that we don't get to see, but which Simon Gubadia must have had access to, to be asking all these questions questions. However, sources close to Portia Williams said that Portia does not know future. Well, looks like Portia wants to play the long game here, but this is Simon we're talking about. He may end up bringing the proof himself. Anyways, the drama doesn't end there because he has a ton of other questions he has for her to answer, another one being about the nature of their marriage and divorce. He wants her under oath to answer whether or not she married him for the money. He wants to know if she thinks that their prenup was fair. Moreover, apparently, in the course of their marriage, Simon used to give Portia a five-figure monthly allowance, and he also wants to know what her understanding was of the reason he gave her that allowance during their marriage. That's not all either, because apparently, he also wants to know about her comeback to Real Housewives of Atlanta, and he wants to see her communications with the producers and how much money she's being paid. It is a lot going on and a lot of questions to answer, so grab a popcorn and let's get into the details. Well, I'll start with the fact that Simon wants to know if she married him for the money and the allowance that we never knew he provided but always suspected he did. Of course, a lot of people knew that something was up with Portia wanting to settle with a 60 years old man who she immediately divorced after only one year after their marriage. What I tell y'all, what did I tell y'all? I knew she was gonna file for divorce. I knew she was not gonna stay. Say what? Portia Williams files for divorce from Simon Gambodia after 15 months of marriage. Girl, you ain't even make it to two years. <laughs> Many people knew that it was something, and now it's been confirmed. Now, I'm one of the people who for sure believe that Simon's wealth had something to do with Portia wanting to marry him and go as far as stealing him from her friend because, first of all, she needed him to be able to live a life she wants, a life to show on TV, let alone the five figures monthly allowance because she also needed a nice place where she could film her show from. From, which brings me to another point of Simon wanting answers about their prenup if she thinks was fair. If you didn't know, when Real Housewives of Atlanta started filming season 16 after Portia filed for a divorce, Simon and Portia got into it because Portia wanted to film from the house both of them shared and actually wanted Simon out of his own house. I believe that this was a long plan of Portia because as they got married, she had him sign a prenup that clearly stated that Simon must leave the property in case of the divorce, which after the divorce, she immediately asked the judge that the prenup be enforced. I'm, all, all, I'm, all I want to know is that, Portia, I hope you did not sign a prenup. I hope you get a nice, large sums of cash in a divorce settlement. While Portia thought that she had outsmarted him because of the prenup, 
Simon opposed her request with his legal team saying that the November 17, 2022 prenuptial agreement is not enforceable for several reasons, including that there was no meeting of the minds, the terms are unconscionable, and because the facts and circumstances have changed since the prenuptial agreement was executed, making the agreement unfair and unreasonable. He added that since the execution of the prenuptial agreement, the wife entered into an agreement with True Entertainment, LLC Bravo, NBC Universal, Truly Original, where wife's income exceeds millions of dollars, which has drastically and unexpectedly changed the facts and circumstances and intent of the parties when entering into the prenuptial agreement. So clearly, Portia thought that she had finally landed in a position where she could have Simon in her hands and potentially get some of his properties. But Simon is not an easy person and he cannot scam a scammer because in fact he threatened to take legal action in case Portia and her team trespassed and filmed even outside his home on top of changing the locks on her, locking her out of the property. The report said that in Simon's letter, he said that he does doesn't want any real housewives of Atlanta footage captured on the property. He sent the production company a copy of the deed to the house just to prove that Portia doesn't have ownership over the property. In the later, he told the company that failure to comply with his request would result in him taking legal action accordingly. Anyways, Portia may have filed for a divorce and hurt Simon a lot, provided now that he even thinks that she married him for his money with no love, and he is charging all that anger and hurt into the energy to make it so hard for Portia, and I'm sure that she may have some regrets of some sort, whether it is having married him in the first place and face all the backlash to have stolen him from another woman, or the fact that she filed for divorce. However, she's trying to put a cool face because recently she said that she wishes him well regardless of what they're going through. But let's also take a look at what the social media is saying where different people have different opinions about what is going on. One person said that he's trying to embarrass her into settling his way. Don't fault Portia. Simon has played this game a few times with ex-wives who couldn't afford to fight him in court. The prenup is the prenup. None of his exercise even should be happening or should matter. He's just trying everything to humiliate and harass her. I hope she gets outlined in the document they both agreed to prior to saying I do. Another one said that Simon said you're gonna get your match today, Boki, with the last one saying that he's trying to tarnish this young lady. Can we? The people request his deportation immediately. So the internet is divided, folks, and I want to know where you stand. Are you Team Portia or Team Simon? Do you think that the prenup should be enforced or there should be considered matters at hand to decide what happens? Tell me what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep updated.